whiskey lovers. Well, it's delivery week again. And this month, I have received two excellent trams from the whiskey pub. Now, first is this month's whiskey, and that's whiskey with an E, the Westwood Rum Cask. And on top of this, I also purchased a top-up bottle of this cheeky local whiskey, the Starwood Red Wine Cask. And this little beauty was crafted exclusively for the whiskey pub. So this week I'm going to be trying the Westwood. So check in next week to see my thoughts on the Starwood Red. So Westwood is an American distillery, so hence the whiskey with an E, in Portland, Oregon. 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 Why do you call that Oregon? It was founded by Christian Krogstad and a graduate of America's oldest brewing academy, the Cybell Institute of Technology. Westwood is known for producing five signature spirits, including Aquavet, Vodka, Casa Mag Magdalena Rum, Coffee Liqueur, and of course, the Westwood American Whiskey. Uh, this single malt whiskey begins as an American Pale Ale which goes through a slow fermenting process and then double distillery to go from brew to whiskey. Now, standard Westwood is matured in American oak, but in this case it's matured in Acasa Mal Malgalan rum casks, which comes from the part of the distillery that is actually in Guatemala. Now, this bottle has supposedly been bottled and labelled by hand and is at cast strength of 62.5%. Wow. Alright, let's have a look. All right, well, ooh, nicely shaped bottle. Mel Love is a good distinctively shaped bottle. Oh, this is also a Whiskey Club exclusive, so, yeah. And it obviously has a name, the Northwest. Excellent. Okay, so, let's pop you over there. Uh, let's have a look. There it is. What the fuck did you get in these things? Got it. Ooh, a very satisfying pop. That's a nice heavy cork too, I must be saying. So, let's have a look at that. So as we can see, it's a very dark, reddish color um, to this so I imagine that is probably very much the rum influences giving it a swirl mm. citrusy orange no uh, I think very similar to orange though. Um, mandarin maybe? In the butterscotch? It smells sweet, citrusy. Like I said, it's very reminiscence of orange but I don't think it's quite an orange so I think it's something a little tartar like maybe a mandarin or a um, um, cumsquatch or something like that. Okay let's give it a taste. Mm. Very vanilla -y. Um, sweeter than what I'm used to from uh, a malted whiskey. Um, 
it's probably the American influences, maybe even the rum influences that give it a extra sweetness. But yeah, um, very heavy hints of vanilla. Um, oak, some spiced oak. That's probably also the rum influences. Actually, I'm getting a flavour very reminiscent of um, of a Benoffee pie, maybe. It could just be the, the tropical influences coming through. Uh, I have to say, this is quite an enjoyable dram. Um, it's definitely got a kick to it. That, that, that's at 62.5% proof. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. The American Westwood... Rum cask, quite a delightful drop. So, so next week we'll be looking at the um, Starwood red wine, and then Mel's got me a little go into the mixer. Um, this little peanut butter whiskey, whiskey with an E, that I will give it a go. Why not? Um, so look for that in a couple of weeks. So in the meantime. Sometimes.